welcome to our weekend vlog. Just want to show you the wonderful organization I did this week with my yarn. I did it by rainbow colors. See that? So pretty. In these two boxes, the one that says create has the, all my needles, my straight needles, and the one underneath is all my paper patterns. Remember I was showing you them in my binders that I was organizing? There's my crochet hooks. And this is just um, a little wooden box full of smaller balls of yarn for nicky nacky things. Or if I just feel like like maybe knitting, these are those um, cup warmer things when your cup is really hot from Starbucks. So there's a whole bunch of those in there. And books down there and knitting boxing patterns. These are circular needles, and that box on the bottom of that basket is full of projects I'm working on right now. So I felt so good about that. Oh, we've just been... This was the last room. Well, no, it wasn't. Richard's art studio was the last room to get kind of cleaned up. And so this kind of stuff, this giveaway stuff in there. And the boys' clothes are in these drawers. And Richard does his weights in here, so they're neatly there. And then this sofa pulls out into a bed when we have all the boys sleep. So this morning I'm starting my day off with a lovely Epsom salts bath. My body's really achy, and I'm really finding that Epsom salt. I don't know if I mentioned that to you guys. Epsom salts is mainly magnesium, and magnesium really helps pain. Like, you know, when people take magnesium internally, but also that's what Epsom salts is. So if you are somebody who has like a chronic pain condition or fibromyalgia, lupus, any of those kinds of things, taking regular baths like three times a week of Epsom salts, I think I've mentioned this before, but it's worth mentioning again, really really helps your pain I mean it's it really does so I'm going to start my day off with a nice beautiful Epsom salts bath with Vita bath that smells like heaven oh my goodness if you've never tried Vita bath original you're missing out please try it once you try it you'll never ever love another bath um, bubble bath you can use it as shower gel too so yeah I'm just going to take my bath now I just wanted to share a little tip with you guys. You might already know this, but in case you don't, if you have a jetted tub, you know, that has the jets in it, when we had ours installed years ago, the fellow said in order to keep the jets and the motors clean, you know, the parts you don't see on the insides, instead of buying that expensive jet cleaner that you pour in your tub, use dishwasher soap. So every so often, I would say about every three months after I've taken a bath I leave the bath water in and I fill it up high enough so the jets can uh, rotate I should have shown you and then I throw the dishwasher soap in and then it just I let it run for about 10 minutes just cleaning out flushing out all the insides and then it comes out and everything's just all sparkly clean so yeah see how clean that is so that's just a little tip for you so now that I have all my yarn organized, I'm so pumped to knit. So I started knitting this last night. Oh, it was around, well, Deanne's boys were here. So I started while they were here, but I didn't get much done. I'd actually had up to, let me back up here so you can see. I had up this brim done and probably up to there done in another yarn. And I did not like the way it was turning out. It needed a firmer yarn so using that white buffalo so I just have one more row and then I'm gathering at the top this should be done in about 10 minutes I cannot believe how quick that it probably took two hours to knit that hat I love it can't wait to get it done so I'll show you when it's done it'll be done real soon so here we are at the Edmonton Soccer Center West who's playing today guys Chili, Trip and Chili, Team Highland. For the, for, for the win. Let's find out where your game is, okay? Oh, 
quickly. So I just happened to bump into my niece, Tamala, and that little boy number 10 is my great nephew. And he's playing soccer here too today. What a coinky dink. Here he is. He is so cute. I love his hair. It bounces. See his curls? Look at him go. Go, Hunter. He looks like he's pretty good. He is. There he goes. Come on, Hunter. Get that ball. Oh. Perfect film of Hunter. Tournament. It's really exciting. It's Sky Game because it's St. Albert versus St. Albert. So I'm not sure where Ozzy is. Is that the oh. Is that him right there? Yeah, there he is. He's got his shirt tucked in. But um, it's really exciting. These guys, they both want to win so bad, of course. But, and they're good, good hockey players. Let's go! I'm an announcer from Wide World, ABC's Wide World of Sports because it's been a pretty busy sports uh, day, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. So um, you're done chewing. So uh, uh, oh well, who's done chewing? I am. Okay. I am. We'll introduce this young man here. So, sir, what is your name? Trip. And what <laughs> team do you play for? Uh, Highlands. Highlands. And what sport is it? Soccer. And how'd you guys do today? Good. Were you good on defense or offense? I was on the side. Oh, so were you a forward? <laughs> yes. Did you? I noticed that you handled that ball really well, Trip. Really well. Good job, buddy. Good job. And you? What is your name, sir? Jilly. Jilly. And oh, let me get the oh. microphone. And uh, what team do you play for? Islands. And I noticed that coach keeps you out there all the time. Are you getting a little tired, or do you mind? Do you like that? I like it. You really were very good on defense. Well done, young man. Well done. Even though there was a loss, well done defense. You held back three goals. So well done job. Good job. Okay, so who do we have over here? Let's see. Uh, how about you, little man? What's your name, sir? A day. A day. And what's, snowboarding. what sport did you do today? Skiing. Skiing or snowboarding? Snowboarding. And how was it first time on slopes? Bad. How was the snow? Light fall, heavy fall, packed. How was it? Powder? Was there powder? Yes. Like powder, on your mouth? Powder. Is there powder like on your mouth? Yes. Powder. But from what I saw from the video, from the from the rewind video, oh please, please, we're interviewing over here. From what I saw from the video, young man, uh, you did very well first time on the snowboard. Way to go! Are you proud of yourself? Uh, no. You should be. You did great, and you. You, sir. Well, we'll come to you last. And who's this young man over here? What's your name and what's your sport? Ozzy. Ozzy, and what's your sport? Hockey. And if those people could be keep it down over there, please. We're trying to interview. Just watching where you have. Okay, and so what's your sport? Hockey. And I see on the back you're number 19, and I understand that you go by what's your handle? Sniper Beast? Sniper Beast? That's my Instagram. I know, but it's Sniper Beast 19. Okay, and so how was your game today? Disappointing, happy, how'd it go? Disappointing, why was it disappointing? We lost. Oh, you lost, but you played well. And did you have fun? Way to go, buddy. No, I didn't. You didn't? And what, what are those things on your arm? These. And what are those for? Team colors? 
Way to support the team, man. Way to support St. Albert. Go. And last but not least, we have... Judy what, Lipscomb. What is your name? <laughs> uh, quiet. Keep it down. I know you're all fans. What's your name, sir? Turner. Turner. And what sport were you in? Hockey. And how did you do today? Good. Uh, good. What do you mean good? What? Tell me, some, <laughs> tell me some features of your game today. Did you win? I sniped one. You bar sniped down. one bar down. Whoa, whoa. Nana can even do a bar down. Turn. One time I did not go bar down. I saw it. Oh, what did you do, babe? I sniped him bar down. He didn't go bar down. What is the, could you, bar down. could you say it that? No, no, excuse no. me. Most of my viewers don't understand that language, snap bar down. What does that mean? I, you shoot it and then Most it hits of the language don't believe them. And then it goes down. And so you made a goal. Yeah. <laughs> and, what, and what did the team, what was the score? Five, Five to four. four. Well done, buddy. I managed to catch that game too. Nan and Papa caught two out of the Woo! four did out of the catch, five did sports you catch today. One of my goals? I did. Oh, did you catch one of my assists? Are you still using it? Uh, I saw yesterday play. Oh. Well done. Way to go, guys. I feel like this is Howard Cosell from ABC's Wide World of Sports. Mm. Well done. I was like so I could show Turner and Austin. So I've been knitting up a storm. I made this hat out of that white buffalo wool. Oh it is so well. I'm just not finished. The pom-pom and the ties. And then Deanne's birthday is on Sunday. So a week from today. And so I'll show you what I made her. They're like leg warmers for when you are wearing heels. Aren't they cute? And they tie with ribbons on the side. You can't really see them. So I made hers in like neutral. And they're like this beigey color. And see the ruffle at the bottom? So I just have to run the ribbon through this one. Because I wanted to get them done because it's her birthday. And then get those all with her birthday presents. So I've been sitting here visiting. Janet brought me candy bars. After the boys left, we cleaned everything up so quickly. And then I started some spaghetti sauce in the slow cooker while Janet was here and got this going. And then we're going to be heading to another minor league hockey game today, Turner Plays. So Richard went outside to get some more spaghetti sauce. Um, I have it frozen in bags in the freezer, so I'll just uh, thaw it out. I just want to add it to this so there's not it's not such a meat sauce. Was there more? Spaghetti sauce, this one says. Oh, perfect. Pasta sauce, that's what I want. Pasta. Yes. Perfect. I always have all these stories that I in my mind I keep thinking like, oh, I can't wait to tell you guys, like talking to the camera, but I know through the camera is my friend. And so if I don't tell you while I'm putting on my makeup or doing, when I think about it, I'm going to forget. But anyway, in a nutshell, for about the past week, I have had the sorest tailbone. And, you know, it's a deep, deep tailbone. Not the sacrum, but below. Anyway, that's what I thought it was. So, rewind a few days before that. I was having a wonderful dream I don't know what I was dreaming about. I wake up face planted on the floor. So I fell out of bed and landed directly. It was like a, a complete kaplat. So I'm like, ow, oh, because it really hurt. I mean, oh, it hurt. Thank God I didn't hurt anything. Well, hold on. So <laughs> it, Richard heard me like kind of cry out. So he rolls over to my side. He's like, what's wrong? What's wrong? And falls on top of me right in the middle of my tailbone, right in my spine. So, you know, your back's like this. And this is the middle. He fell right here. So kind of wild like this. And he's like, are you okay? Are you okay? I'm like, I'd be a lot better if you weren't on top of my back, your full body weight. So that happened. So... We kind of, I was a little sore, actually my elbow and my knee really hurt and my head. So that was, but I was fine. You know what I mean? So a few days later, we're at Jesse and Julia's and I'm um, holding the baby and my tailbone really, really started hurting. 
And I was thinking, well, what was I doing the day before? All I had been doing was crafting. And I thought, well, maybe I was sitting too long or whatever, you know. And then it's been getting progressively worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. So yesterday I got Richard to just massage my tailbone just to see. Because we know that, what is that? If you press through the pain, oftentimes if it's a muscle, it breaks up and the pain goes away. We learned that from Jesse. So if you have a sore, sore muscle, if you press it, the pain will just go away. It's called some something. I can't remember. But anyway, so he's pressing, pressing. I go, no, it's not there. It's actually more to the right, like more my butt cheek, I guess. Not so much on my tailbone. Then I realized... I hurt my back or butt when he fell out of bed. So, oh my God, we are a couple of goofs, I tell you. I mean, you know, falling out of bed is bad enough, but then when your husband falls on top of you, I mean, seriously. So, yeah, so it feels so much better today. Oh my God. I wish I knew the word for that. It's A-R something treatment but it's something where you push through the pain you guys should try it if you ever have a sore muscle it hurts at first you almost scream out when somebody's pressing against it but then it progressively feels better and yeah just I think you kind of like get the blood flowing in that area that's injured I think that's the the premise but it really really works so I feel so much better but yeah can you just visualize that? Me face planted, Richard on top of me. I mean, come on. Just, just come on. Yeah, it was pretty funny. So anyway, I'm just getting my makeup on because we're going to the Enjoy Center just to pick up some health food. I keep reading. So my phone got too full of video, so I had to go to my camera. But anyway, I just looked up the name of that uh, treatment. It's called ART, Active Release Technique. And you're supposed to go to a trained person in that. So um, yeah, this is my disclaimer. Don't try this on your own, do it yourself, get somebody to do it that's trained. But sidebar, all you have to do is press up muscle. That's just, you know, and it works. <laughs> With me, it works anyway. But I guess you wouldn't want to re-injure something or injure something if you don't know what's wrong. But apparently it helps joints and uh, muscle injuries and old senior joint pain and all that kind of stuff so anyway it worked for me and I have a big butt so it worked for my big old butt. Yeah, I have to vlog this you guys my sister is so funny she has Mickey has a hearing aid I don't know if you guys have ever noticed but she has a supersonic hearing aid that she can make phone calls on it but then she'll phone me and then she's gone it's like Houston We've lost our connection. So I'm phoning her back. She's going to be laughing. Hold on. Because it's always this way. Always, 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 always. Okay, where is she? <laughs> I'll say. I'll have to let her know that I'm vlogging her, though. I call her Lulu. It's just an inside joke. Houston, we have lost. <laughs> I'm here. Uh, I'm I'm your... Oh, okay. I'm on. Uh, you're, I'm vlogging you because uh, I'm saying to uh, my viewers how funny your phone is because it's just crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and then she gets in an, in an elevator because it's around her neck. So it kind of looks like a necklace, I guess. So nobody knows she's talking on the phone. So she gets in a full elevator and I'm talking to her and asking her questions. Nothing. It's like crickets because she doesn't want people to think she's talking to herself. It's so funny. <laughs> anyway. I'm back to work now. So I will uh, see you on Friday. Okay. Have a good day. Okay. You too. Bye. Bye. She's so funny. Anyway, but, um, another thing, I see all these things I want to tell you guys, but this one's really funny. Um, my dad told
taught us a card trick. And we, doing the card trick, we become wizards. We're called the wizard. And so I had my grandsons pick random cards, out, let's just say two of clubs, out of the deck. So I put my cell phone away. I told them I'm not texting anybody. I'm going to use old school phone. So first pick, pick your card, then I will call the wizard and the wizard will tell you your card. So I'm like calling the wizard, which was my brother, my poor brother, because I called him four times. Um, and I'm like, can I please speak to the wizard? And then I said, could you please tell these young men the name of their card? And he would come on. Your card is a two of clubs. And they were astonished. How? I mean, it's a really good card trick. It really, 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 really is a good card trick. <laughs> but they're like, okay, so if your dad told you that card trick, then let's phone him. Grab football grandpa. I go, he's in heaven. How are we phoning football grandpa? He goes, come on. They got to have phones there. There's got to be a phone in heaven. I go, well, I don't know the number if there is a phone in heaven. They're like, well, let's Google it. So we're like Googling, how do you call heaven? Calling heaven. So hilarious. These boys honestly and truthfully believed there has got to be a phone number in heaven. Come on. Like, come on, Nana. It's 2017. There's got to be a phone number in heaven. They are so sweet and so innocent and so funny that, oh, it was just, they want to know how to do that trick. And I told them, football grandpa is the only one that can show you. And they're like, well, let's just call them up. But I thought that was so cute. And then finally they just gave up because we couldn't find the number to heaven. So if you guys have the phone number to heaven, could you please pass it on to me so I can give it to my grandsons? So, yeah. Anyway, I better get ready because Richard will be here any minute. So, so we're just on our way to the Enjoy Center. Let's see if I can get oh, some, I told you, some stevia drops. Or some kind of stevia that doesn't taste like antifreeze. Have you ever tasted stevia, Richard? No, I haven't. Oh, it's so, it's a natural sweetener. Remember Linda Blade's husband? He actually discovered stevia at the U of A farms. Remember he had us come in the backyard and told us to taste the leaves of that plant and how sweet it was? I can't buy you. I think I remember. It was years ago. He's um, a professor at the University of Alberta Agricultural and they were experimenting with stevia. This was, I mean, years, probably 20 years ago. But it tasted way sweeter from the plant than it does to their way they've uh, processed it so it can become a sweetener in your, you know what I mean. Anywho. So we're going. So there. we went to the Enjoy Center. It's always nice walking around there, isn't it? Don't you find Richard? He's got a mouthful of what is it? Is it good? Delicious. Delicious. Look at that. Date Square. We bought one and we split it in half. And then we went. Look at all the organic, organic. I found this. Oh no. These are hippie snacks. Love these coconut chips. Oh my goodness. I have to control myself I could eat the whole thing I my favorite flavor is coconut so anything that has coconut in it yeah we're gonna try this for me stevia leaf powder um, it says to add to their your smoothies but then up here Richard read that it's really good in teas desserts and all other recipes and it was only six dollars rather than buying the $17 stevia drops I'm gonna try this and see if that works then I got some quinoa, whoa, quinoa cheddar chips, because quinoa is protein, so that's better. Then I got hemp hearts for fiber, and then I got, uh, Richard didn't even know I bought this, but I bought this. It's so good. We're going to split it. Happy milk, coconut, and pineapple fruit smoothie. Delicious. And you know this is non-dairy. I did not know that. I've been drinking this thing and it has no dairy in it, no sugar added. It is so delicious. Oh my goodness. So we're going to share this with our date square. So just about to start supper. We went and got the mail and look at the amazing parcel I got from Scrap and Abbey. Unbelievable. I started to cry. There were some things in here that just 
Oh my God, like this crystal. Look at this beautiful crystal. Look at this. It's absolutely beautiful. And then where deep in here I had it out over oh, here. These oils. It says relax, breathe, and sleep with the leather chain bracelet thing. Beautiful. Look at the things in here. Look at. I mean, look at this. And these little tags, it would say Monica Secret Garden. And then it would, each thing was individually wrapped. And then it said Monica Cooks. And then these beautiful little charms. <laughs> they cute. Monica Tea Time. I mean, trims and lace. Look at Look at, I'm going through quickly only because my vlog is going to be too long. Mechanical pencils that are actually colored. Like notes everywhere. Everything was wrapped. Every single solitary thing. Look at these trims. Look at all this. Like I am just, I'm still overwhelmed. I mean, self-laminating sheets. No, I didn't have any of those. Washi tape for trigeminal neuralgia and see the little one with the tear on it. Beautiful. It's just beautiful. This Gilder's uh, Paste Wax, and this one is in Patina, so I tried it over here on the box. You can see it right there. And look at these lace trims. This one is Mums. This one is Roses. And look at the white buffalo, buffaloes, butterflies, you guys. Oh, there's just some, look at this stack of a lace ribbon. Four of them. Four. And some more beautiful washi tape with that teal color. These are mediums. Um, one of them is uh, mini art stones. The other one is glass beads. And the bottom one is Golden's Angel Clear. Like, there's just so much. I can't go through all the... the I, I, you guys, it's just so much. I'm just overwhelmed. I, it's things for my planner. The trims. Richard and I opened this together. This trim here is beautiful. I'm covering a book with that one. This blue eyelash uh, yarn. Oh, and she found this. <laughs> Canada Day. And more trims. And more eyelash lace. And it just goes on and on and on. Look at this. It's a mirror. Oh, my battery's flashing. And then this beautiful card. I must admit, Monica is very appreciative of all this stuff. Oh, I I've am. Never, and I when just... you got home... And she hasn't quit. It's been over a half hour or more. She's been going through this. And uh, actually, she's very Abby. Very nice. Abby, nice job. <laughs> it's just so neat. It's, everything is so nice. I really appreciate it, Abby. I truly do. I li literally have been. Don't you love touching things when you get new things? I mean, I took this, you take them out, then you open it up again. and. You take it out, feel it, and touch it, and, you know. But anyway, my battery is flashing, so I just want to say today's supposed to be the bluest Monday of the year or something. What's it called? Blue, Blue Monday. Blue, Blue Monday. Of the first month of the year. The, um, the third Monday of January. January. It's supposed to be the bluest Monday. There is nothing blue about my Monday today. I woke up in a good mood, had a nice time at the Enjoy Center with Richard, and then come home to this. Are you kidding me? I'm not blue. So I hope you guys didn't have a blue Monday. I hope you guys are not blue in any way. And if you are, cheer up. Somebody loves you. So don't be sad. And tomorrow we'll be here before you know it. So thank you so much for watching and hanging with us. Thank you so much, Abby. Ugh. I have no words. I just don't even, can't even, uh, like overwhelmed and grateful so and thank to all my subscribers and we will see you all next weekend bye
Good night, Kate. Bye. Bye.